Okay guys, the long tail alpha tab. I'm going to show you two variations of using this. One using um, locations for local businesses and one using um, as an extra modifier over here. Now what you will see is you've got three sections here. Modifiers, keywords and location. Location can be a location or just some extra additional keyword modifiers. Now what do we mean by a modifier? Modifier is part of a keyword phrase. In simple terms, it's part of a keyword phrase. If you do a uh, search using the Google Keyword Planner tool, what you will find is you will get long um, sort of phrases that they give you. Now, what we need to do is we need to break them into these three sections, okay? Any keyword phrase is basically broken into three sections. You have modifier, you have keywords, and you usually have either additional modifiers or locations, okay? Now, let me look at the example here for locations for local business. You can see here I've got modifiers like top, recommended, best, affordable. You've got keywords here like dentist, dentists as in plural, orthodontist, children's dentist. Now just putting this as example, this is not an extensive um, sort of project I've got going on here. I just want to give you a demonstration to let you think and understand how to use this for yourself. And then we've got key um, location in here. I've got London, London W1, Mayfair London, Central London. Okay. So you can see here I've got four modifiers, four keywords, four locations. This can be unlimited. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Can be unlimited. Now if I've got four here and four here and four here, basically what I've got is four times four times four. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is going to be 64. That's 64 different combinations, okay? So if I click on preview here, you will see what I mean by a combination. It's taken the keyword phrase of the modifier recommended from the modifier section. It's taken here children's dentist from the keywords, and it's taken here the words London from the location, okay? So altogether, we've got a combination of these three to make one keyword phrase recommended children's dentist London okay click on it again top dentist London W1 click on it again affordable dentist London you can see it's taken one 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 okay there's basically 64 combinations if I have 10 times 10 times 10 I have 1000 combinations okay that's how this can be used right now what you can do what we've added um since the video send off i don't know if this has been added into video send off yet but we have got this now that you can just export this so i can put in here uh long tail send project b2 for example whatever you want to call your project now it's better to put it in a folder and where you can always find it okay so you just click on save and it will save there and you can import it later on okay that way you can also also just get a hold of all of those and use them for other things as well now when do we use this what do we use this for well it really it should be used for the bookmark alpha tab or for the tier 2 tab this in my opinion is better for the tier 2 tab for the bookmark alpha tab we've got other things we've got the bulk URL shortener and I'll show you one more new thing that we've got in here with YouTube URL variations that we got for the bookmark alpha tab so in my opinion in my opinion you're better to use the book uh, the, the long tail send tab uh, combinations with tier 2 okay now what it's going to do is going to give you so many different kind of long tail um, variations that a lot of other people will not be able to compete with you as far as trying to optimize for so many different variations they do not have this system you have this system this system works if you look at these these are all commercial intent keyword phrases affordable dentist London you think he, he's looking to to you know pay for a dentist yes he is it's commercial intent keyword it's a buyer keyword in other words okay click on preview again recommended orthodontist made for London it's so specific it's a commercial intent keyword again recommended orthodontist London W1 again it's commercial intent best dentist London W1 yeah I guess so recommended dentist central London again again and again you were going to get these okay and affordable keywords like that make them commercial intent okay let's take a look at another variation that we can do and you can see this one looks kind of odd okay because of the way I've structured it but you can structure it any way you like okay you do not need to have exactly the same um, amount of words in each of these boxes you can see here, I'm using the example of bookmark alpha, and you can use this, for example, for um, launch tracking, for example, okay? 
So I've done three different spellings of bookmark alpha, capitalized for both words, not capitalized and capitalized only for the first word, okay? The modifier, I've just put in the word new, just one simple word, new, okay? So I've got one times three is three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? I've got 24 combinations. Now I can build this out if I want to. That's okay, but up to me what I want to do. What I'm doing then is I'm, instead of using a location, I'm using an extended modifier, okay? So I've got bookmark alpha and here for the keywords and then in the locations I'm using an additional modifier social bookmark tool social bookmark software social bookmark error okay and we can just keep building that up and look here if you put the product creators name if you put the vendors name in here this is where it comes in very very handy if you're doing launch jacking very 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 handy indeed because when you put in the keywords of a product name together with the product creator's name then you know that's what people are searching for when they want to find out you know about that particular tool or about that particular product okay so if i click on the preview on here new new bookmark alpha social bookmarker new bookmark alpha by anthony Hayes, new bookmark alpha social bookmark software etc etc now i can take this even further i can do um social bookmarking social bookmarking tool social bookmarking software etc etc and i can really just build it up okay that's how we use this and again um with this one if i was doing it for launch tracking i would probably use this kind of format um for launch tracking and use the bookmark alpha tab and i would probably use it again with the tier two okay but that's how it works okay now if i come over to the bookmark alpha tab i'll just give an example in here if you've got a project already done what you will see is you've got options over here and when you come over to the options you will see that you can use long tail sin keywords okay that's when we use this we just click on that choose the project you want to work with verify and save it and then that will be used when you are doing your posting okay that will be used when you're doing your posting i'll cover this tab in a lot more detail in another video but that's how we use bookmark alpha uh, the long tail send alpha tab and you can do the same over here i just create BA2 for a new project. Okay, I can come over here. I can go over to the options again. I can choose long tail syndication keywords. For this example, use that. And that will be used when you're doing your bookmarking. Okay, for the tier two sites. That means you're getting all those different combinations, all those different variations going into those sites. Okay, that builds relevancy around your main links for your tier one links by using it as a tier two. Okay, so that's the long tail send alpha tab. I'll see you in the next video.